Hey there, it's John, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over another mod by Unnamed Glitch. This one is called Unnamed Desert, and we're starting off kind of where we left off on the last one, and we're going to go and try to find ourselves a wonderful desert and find some of these wonderful uh, structures that Unnamed Glitch has added to the game. Again, these are, these are mods that keep the game fairly vanilla just by adding more points of interest and making the game a little more exciting more places to go visit things i wish minecraft would do in vanilla but nonetheless we have people that are lovely like unnamed glitch that do just that let's go ahead and find ourselves a desert all right this one's pretty cool there is a, a ship from unnamed sea over there and then if you turn around there is this temple looking thing right up front with two emeralds and it says no entry so we can you know we, we can enter <laughs> that's what we're gonna do uh, and inside of this, whoa, there's a trap and there's, oh my goodness. That's like immediate death. If you walk straight in. All right, cool. Yeah. You would be dead in no time. First you got spikes and then you got a bunch of the, uh, strays or whatever the heck they're called. Uh, yeah, those zombies would ruin you, ruin your day pretty quick. So there is a trip wire right when you enter, uh, right when you enter this temple, so you gotta be really careful. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't fall in uh, on the uh, on the trip wire. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little path here. Uh, there is a, looks like there's a, a sword inside of this, um, which is kind of cool. We're going we're gonna to set time today. You have some gold over here, which is nice. You have a chest over here. That is a trap chest. At least it looks like a trap chest. It certainly is a trap chest. <laughs> Let's go ahead and deactivate that trap chest what is, what's in it gold and what and what else okay where does this take you so this triggers let's trigger it let's let's do that what happens if you trigger this let's put this 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 and this here and let's just go ahead and open it oh lava comes down and you are toast this is so full of traps i absolutely love it Oh my goodness. Okay, this is really freaking cool. I'd have to say it's probably one of my favorites so far only because you get trapped so easily. You just have to be really careful. Um, what happens if you step here? Nothing, okay. So you gotta be careful with the trap doors too, I would assume. There is a zombie right there. Um, you go in here, there looks like there's another trap door, but I can't tell for sure. Um, some plants, you can dig your way this way. There is a, oh! That is a, oh, <laughs> blow up with that too. Oh my goodness. This is full of booby traps. There is another booby trap here. And that's another trap chest. Right? No, that's a standard chest. There is another booby trap here, but there are spawners there. That looks like a zombie spawner and a zombie spawner or the desert zombie spawner. There's not a whole lot of like excellent loot in here, but there is some good loot in here. It's not like the best. Golden apples, some emeralds in the front there. So, oh my goodness, look at all this. Look at all this mayhem. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves a path out of here. I know I'm in creative, but whatever. All right, so that is this desert temple. It is chaos in here. You have to be really careful there's two emeralds out here. It looks like there's a sword inside of this. Oh, I don't know what's in there actually. And I don't think there's anything else to it, right? This is just decoration. Let's see if there's anything up here. Oh, there's some gold up here. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, there's some gold blocks up top for just, if you know it's there, it, then you know. <laughs> you get yourself some gold. All right, so there's plenty of gold you can get out of this Pharaoh's temple. I really like it. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if I like the the front entry being wood. I think I would like it better if it, it looks like a face, I guess. That makes sense. It, it's not bad. There is another desert temple over there. And then there's these little shrubs of what look like the, uh, what's it called? The mangrove roots kind of everywhere. And then added some buttons. I don't think the buttons do anything. No, they're just decoration. So they added, they added a bunch of decoration, including a bunch of coral. Uh, the the coral fans in the desert just to give it a little more decoration and then there's little plots of sand or dirt I mean 
uh, throughout as well. It just gives it a feel of desert. You know, there's rocks everywhere. There's chunks of wood everywhere. And I like that. I feel like it gives it a little more depth. I appreciate that wholeheartedly. All right, what is over here? This looks like, what is that? Is that a face? It's like a face. What's in here? Is there anything in here? Is it just decoration? It's just a point of interest. I think it just is a point of interest. I don't think there's anything in, oh, there's some coal, but that could just be the hillside, right? Yeah, I think it's just a decoration in the desert, like a giant snake's head or something. I kind of like it though. The only criticism I have of this entire mod pack honestly, is the distance that some of this stuff shows up, including um, some of the stuff at sea. It doesn't show up for several thousand blocks. Like this is 5,000 blocks from where I was located and the mod was already installed on this world as new. So it, I feel like this stuff could be a lot closer. It doesn't seem to spawn in as as much as the ocean stuff, like the the boats and whatnot, the, including the... the, the uh, the unnamed sea, the light towers were thousands of blocks away. They're not readily available to you. They're not something that's going to be within your spawn point per se. I mean, they could be from your world, maybe different than my world, obviously, because everything's randomly generated. But uh, both things that I was looking for in this were thousands of blocks. And this one happened to be over 5,000 blocks from where I was last. So uh yeah that's that's the only criticism i have of it other than that i think the mod is absolutely fantastic you should definitely download it let's see what i'm saying like this this search for a geyser is 8500 blocks away i have to tp 8500 8, blocks to find this really cool thing that isn't super like i don't think it's gonna be something that's worth hunting for i think it's just something that i would like to see more of oh it's in a mesa biome maybe the, the closest mesa biome was 8,000 blocks away that's possible i suppose that's cool. I like this build. There's some dead dead skellies on the ground. And it's like a hot spring. I think this is rad. It's just a point of interest. Makes for something really cool uh, in, in the game. Let's see if we can find something. Else. Oh, there are palm trees. Oh, this is like an oasis. Okay, so I think this is another point of interest next to a triple tower village. And this is like a campsite. This is kind of like what I built in uh, one of my uh, desert update videos forever ago that I made up of things I wish were in the game. Now, I don't know about the pumpkins or the melons. I think that's kind of cool, but maybe haystacks would be more appropriate. But nonetheless, this is rad. I absolutely love this. I wish there were palm trees in the game. I've always thought that palm trees absolutely belong in the game. And this is a great representation of palm trees and a little oasis in the desert. This is another version of the uh, the geysers. That's cool. You got a skelly that's dead over there, a skelly that's dead over there, and then three versions of it. Okay, so this is another oasis, another variant of it. Um, I like this one too. I like all of them so far. They're really cool. Um, little village over here next to it, and then another one of these little, whatever the heck these things are. I have no idea what this is, but it's funny as heck. And this looks like a mixture of both of those, uh, both of those two oasis together with a little waterfall feature going on and more cactus this one looks more it feels more realistic to me i kind of like this one this feels a lot more like the one i designed um years ago it's got a little couple little things of carrots there a uh, little urn there a couple little what are these like little baby urns i don't even know what the heck those are those are not in in the game that's cool all right, so uh, they are now. <laughs> I like that. And then this is a pillager outpost. And I think that looks pretty cool. I like that. I don't I don't know what the purple things are, giant eggplants. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a pillager dude there. And then inside, you get your little campfire, a bunch of seating. I mean, this would be a pretty cool base, to be honest. There is a dead dude in there. There's a couple villagers in there that are trapped. You have yourself some tools, um, a book. So you have like the item frames, the invisible item frames that can hold stuff flat. That's really cool. I like that. The little urns, more beds. Oh, there's stuff in the chest. I did not check at the other POIs. There's probably stuff in all the barrels. That's pretty neat. 
there's food in this one because this is like a, a kitchen corner here uh this is a just another corner with some with an axe and then this over here as well as some materials and i think is there a way up into these towers there is oh there's a second floor so this is like the battlements area where you can you know ward off enemies <laughs> oh there's trapdoors everywhere hey villagers you guys get out this is where we drop the pillagers the villagers in to the jails oh i see there's a witch a witch what are these are these just a fast way down they are just a fast way down and so this is a pillager outpost as well but i guess it's been raided so a corner has like been blown off right here but for the most part it's exactly the same there's just a, a dead pillager in the center there there's a dead dude in the middle there's another dead dude there oh uh, what is this thing oh i see it's been pillaged by like a battle thing on the finger and there's an oasis next to it this one is pretty cool okay and then there's a, a temple over there oh we found a trifecta of things all we're missing is a village village and there's an oasis over there as well this one's pretty freaking cool I know there's no villages in uh, Badlands. So there's not going to be a village that direction. But this is pretty cool. Looks like they broke through. The, the, the attackers, whoever they are, broke through this side over here. Killed a dude. Shot a dude. And, you know, pillaged the center there. But that center on that last one must have gold in it or something. Uh, there are a few tools still scattered about. But I don't think there is there anything in the chest. There's still stuff in the chest. So they didn't pillage everything. Let's go back to that last one. This is just coal underneath this. Is that what this is? Oh, I see. It was burnt out because the, the campfires were burnt out. So they just put coal there to make it look like uh, the campfires were burnt out. That makes sense. Oh, so that's that's a, a head. And then this is a whole crocodile. I had not seen this one. Okay, cool. So this is supposed. these are supposed to be like ruins of some sort. Or maybe like uh, a fossil of a giant alligator. <laughs> hey, creepers. How you doing there? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is actually a fantastic mod. I absolutely love it as, as much as I did Unnamed C. It adds a lot of points of interest. Again, my only criticism of this mod and Unnamed C is that the things, the points of interest don't spawn in as often as I would like to see. They are very, very rare in the sense that they're maybe several thousand blocks away. Uh, I'd like to see more of them or the generation possibly increased slightly, not not drastically because you don't want it to be everywhere because that's just annoying um, and it, that takes away from the fun of the game. But I would like to see maybe a, a few more of these pop up uh, on closer to spawn than 10,000 blocks away. I am 10,000 blocks from my spawn at this point. So anyway, so I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, if you can smash that like button down below and follow along by hitting that little subscribe button, it helps me out more than you know. Let me know in the comment section below what other mods you want me to uh, explore and review. Um, yeah, till the next one. See ya.